Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. I boxed out about three or four faces. Welcome to another smoke box for Be Real TV. I'm Be Real, aka Dr. Green Thumb, with two of my boys from the Hollywood Undead, Dylan and Jarrell. Smoking wood to rock and smoking. If you wanna throw some bows, then we can go straight toe to toe and kick the dough and blow it open. No one knows. I thought I told them, thought you had it. Now you're choking. People dropping bodies, folding, stay undead to coffin door. What's up? What's happening, B? Uh, you know, we about <laughs> to get it on, man. We got some insane OG on some funky fill tips. You know what I'm saying? We about to get it going. I was you just listening to Funky Phil on the way over here. I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Well, you know, you smoke at your own pace, and I'm a one pump chump, dude. I ain't even trying to front, so very little movements, and you're good to go. And just yeah. keep breathing, you'll be fine. <laughs> no, that's what they always say. Word it sounds up. like when I lost my virginity. That's what she told me. Yeah, just <laughs> breathe, just, <laughs> just breathe, and, and relax, just keep and you'll be fine. Yeah. Stay with me. See that light. Right. Hey man, it's good to have you guys here in the box. Thank you for having um, us. Thank for, you for having us. For a yes. couple reasons. One, because you know, fans always ask us to have certain people in the box, and your guys' name have come up several times. So nice. that's we a, well, aim, it's an honor, man. We aim yeah. to give the fans what they ask for. So <laughs> you know, that's one. Number two, you know, we did a collabo. Um, yes, we did on your on your joint on our newest album that's yes. coming out. Uh, and, the 27th uh, of October. Yeah, so you know, yeah. I'm stoked to have you guys here for that because this this song is a jam too. Yeah, that black know? Cadillac. That black Appreciate Cadillac. It. Yeah, we yeah man, we <laughs> were all pretty. We were feeling pretty good that day when we heard that first drop. We were so it's like, damn. So that album's cool. done, ready to fucking yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, the album's done, ready to go. It comes out October 27th. <laughs> I don't know when this is going to be aired, but today is, what, Wednesday? It'll, It'll be, be up this Friday. It, well, you know, maybe yeah. we put the rush factor <laughs> on it and get it out. But yeah. we're hyped that you did that, man. Actually produced that song. Yeah. You I'm, produced that? Yeah, I produced that song. I'm it's fucking, a dope joint. I'm stoked that uh, you were into it because a lot of people heard it. They were like, it's, it's kind of like cinematic sounding, I kept hearing. Like, it's kind of dark. You know? I like beats like that for a lot of different reasons because there's a lot of textures to it. There's some darkness to it, but there's also a movement it's about a driving it. Force yes, it's a driving it. force. Yeah. And I like flipping on beats like that, whether it's hip hop shit or it's fucking rock shit, metal, punk, whatever it is. I, I like flipping on, on stuff like that. So yeah. it made it easy to come up with something, you know, that I thought was very fucking, yeah. you know. I liked it. Very aggressive and, and uh, you know, just flipping a different style over. Yeah, we were, we were hyped that you did it. You know, it's got guitar and shit like that. Um, I really like the stuff you do with Rusko. Oh, shit. thanks. Yeah, yeah shit shout, like shout out to dope. Rusko, man. Rusko was one of my favorite producers, man. He's but, dope. He's out there, man, because uh, our, yeah. our tour manager is a good friend of ours. Our old tour manager was uh, his tour manager, so we chill with Rusko. We go to his shows. That guy's out there, man. Yeah, he is. Yeah, dope, yeah, he's dope, a full dope entertainer. He's like one of a kind. Like when I met that dude, I was like, this motherfucker, like he's like fucking the dubstep John Lennon. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he is the godfather much, of dubstep. Pretty that much. Dude, I got to get wow. him in the box because I know he smokes. Oh, dude, that full oh, yeah. chiefed out. Yeah. Um, but what was your like first experience with with uh, smoking? You know, whether it was joints, bongs, blunts, whatever. Dude, you know? the first hot box I ever did was with bong, bong rips. Bongs. Yeah. Hmm. And I was like 13, 14, and I was going to a birthday dinner, and um, some of the seniors grabbed me and took me with them to go up the street <laughs> before we went to dinner, and oh my god, I, that was like the first time I've ever been so lit. So it was like, through older just, kids you got. Yeah, they were like the, the, the seniors, and like, I played football, so they like... I was good. Uh, I was like a, I was like a, I was an athlete. It's almost like days didn't confuse. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It was, it was like that, and they just like brought me under their wing, and they like just smoked me out, and I was just so faded, and I was just sitting there, and there's all this like pizza and pasta, and typically you just like when that stuff's in your face and oh, you're that man. faded, you go for you're it. Going for it. But I just couldn't move. I was just so high, and everybody was staring at me like I was weird. And then that was it from then on. I was just like, had, I like this. You had the high freeze. <laughs> yeah. You're like, just, you wanted it, but you're like, yeah. stuck. Exactly. You know, we were talking yesterday. I was like, 
because uh, we're at dinner with like some label reps and we're talking about you know like smoking and we're talking about how our fucking our friends Nate and Chase the these little Hollywood dogs they, they, they pee dog does and, <laughs> yeah. and I was like that's not like I was like that's not funny man <laughs> and these label reps said what's a pee dog I was like oh man it's when uh, they put like cracker cocaine in the joint and you smoke it it's PCP and it, dude <laughs> yeah and like Nate and Chase like I hit their joint we're at the powerhouse this bar was in Hollywood I hit the joint the old, old powerhouse not new powerhouse the old powerhouse yeah, old and powerhouse. they just started laughing like, what the fuck's so funny man and then I swear to God like my face just melted and like I just glued to the wall and they were just giggling <laughs> this was on the wall I was like wall. is that a P-Dog is that a P-Dog <laughs> and I, I swear I was gonna like lean towards him to try and like you know push him or something that was like, wild man move. that was so, like stuck to that so the jukebox that night when cause I smoked it with him and what I was playing? I, it was like James Brown I was like staring at James Brown and then going back to Mr. Brownstone is that what it is Guns N' Roses do you know yeah. That album, yeah, yeah, and I just kept thinking like James Brown was on GNR's record. <laughs> I was like tripping out, <laughs> I was, and I woke up. I felt like a vampire the next oh, day. That's the worst like, thing you could do to somebody. Man. And I was like, I just was like pale white and like just in my O dogs cruising around Hollywood and like there I was know what's going on. Cruel fucking pranks. I got to tell you, when somebody <laughs> yeah. fucking slips you the Mickey in the joint, oh, bro. Man, man. Dude. that shit is the worst. It's only happened to me twice. The second time I was at the swap meet on Santa Monica, Vermont. I had to call like my roommate, like you need to come get me. She's like, did you see a ghost? Like you're pale white. Like, <laughs> <laughs> P dogs. <laughs> Fucking P dogs. Only oh, twice, man. man. Never again. Two crazy. times, huh? Two times too many. Two times too many, man. No. Now you guys are fucking connoisseurs and shit. I know this for a fact. And you guys are 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 now actually in in the cannabis industry doing several things and one of which is a collaboration that you've done with california's finest right yes that cali's is right. finest yeah we got it right here what kind of flowers in there uh it's a, it's a hybrid. hybrid it's a hybrid they didn't I, I never asked as far as the strain goes man it was supposed to be a just skywalker og but um is that is that your favorite strain I like Skywalker. I like OG I like, Kush, man. You like OGs? Well, that's like, what we're smoking, we're smoking insane right OG here. right now. Is it insane? You're yeah. your strain? I'm pretty yes, that feeling is pretty fucking strain. insane right now. It's our Dr. Green <laughs> Thumb insane OG strain. You it's know, tight. it's in-house. Because, you know, we we love OGs, too. I mean, I love all the flavors. Yeah. But, you know, Jack being, Herrera is a good one. Being yeah. from Southern Cali, before all these flavors existed, mm -hmm. of course, the, the first big flavor was and always is the OG Kush. Yeah. So because it know. went, what did it go from chronic to OG Kush? Is that how? I mean, no, no, no. OG Kush is a, uh, chronic is a word that describes some good weed. OG Kush was actually a strain. Yeah, okay. the name of a strain. You know, some people. Oh, I need to get my weed facts right here. <laughs> some people, you know, turned OG Kush or OG or Kush. You know, any mm -hmm. variation of it as a descriptive word to some good weed but it you know like if you're an og kush smoker and somebody comes oh man i got some of that og and they break it out and you're like nah, that's that's not og the thing that's is it. nowadays like there's so many like og strains or so they call it and it's not real og like yeah o og sells that's the problem i've, I've, I've yeah. been cultivating for like the past four or five years and you know i was always private about it because the laws and whatnot but yeah. like like to the point where actually I do it and you know I, every day I grow weed when I'm home like I've been right. doing it for five years I've been through hell and back I lost a ton of money and yeah, I learned a lot about myself that's you know? the game you know mm -hmm. like you got to yeah. go through a few harvests before you get it you know? yeah and it took me years to get it right and um I get bummed out you know because that to me it's an art form and I actually like I'm not kidding you every day I grow weed so it's like when people say shit like Oh, this is OG. I'm like, I take offense to that because yeah. I'm like, I put a lot of time and love into this. Yeah. And you're gonna tell me it's something true. is that it isn't. You know? You're gonna blow yeah. smoke up my ass. No pun intended. I've heard him say that many <laughs> times. And I'll tell you what, this dude grows some good shit, man. And I probably for as long as he's been growing, that's like about the only thing I smoke these days. And I like it because he get he will grow an OG that's really good, but that Jack Herrera grows is just hey, like he, fire. Yeah. You're you're that producing. Shit is good. And you're producing, yeah. you, you know. you, you're producing beats and you're producing cannabis. So that's a two part question for you. What got you into producing beats and what got you into producing cannabis? Producing beats, I mean, first off, like, you know, I grew up listening to Cypress Hill. I grew up listening to Four, NWA. Like, you know, I grew up, I'm a 90s kid. So it's like everything I grew up was like hip hop, you know? I didn't get into like punk and metal till later, till I was like 18. Right. I started playing like the bass, started a band. But I grew up on hip hop, so like I love to produce music more than anything one day i would love to you know score movies like there's you know there's no there's no end to music which is great and it's exactly like, 
it's like you know you're into all sorts of kind of music and people really limit themselves they're like i i only listen to this or i only do that it's like music is like the most beautiful thing in the world to me so it's like i can sit there and listen to movie soundtrack i can sit there and listen to you know nwa i can sit there and listen to willie nelson it's like yeah. to get me inspired it's inspired by yeah get inspired it, by all of it yeah. producing weed um i got into it before it blew up but like you know, like I said, I failed for, I started in a tent in a garage and then, you know, now I got the warehouse going on and all that stuff, but it's like, I work 80 hours a week and I get offended, man. Like, you know, you know, especially in the cannabis industry when people, you know, there's so many shitty growers out there. Oh, like, fuck yeah. I, and growers are like, they're like greasers. They're just assholes. You know what I mean? Like some of them. Yeah. There, there's a lot of dicks out there, man, but they just got something to prove. And like, you know, when I started growing, I yeah, learned man. about the pesticides that people spray on shit. I was doing. I was like, this is fucked up. And then I did research. I found out that shit was on food. Yeah. I started eating more organic. Like, I started growing yeah. other plants in my backyard, like tomatoes, peppers. Made weed a competition. Yeah. You know? And it just like kind of takes the fun out of it. Yeah, it, it is a competition. It it used to be more communal and yeah. everybody like kind of in it together. But yeah, it's like goes back to like when I said the chronic OG. It's like when I was buying weed from my homie, it went from that, and it was just like something I was like always like, yo, I'll just smoke whatever. Like I don't care what the competition is. It's like weed is weed to me. I want to smoke it and get high and feel good right. and to go about my day. But then to make it such a competition and like take the fun out it's just like yeah it's cut this is the communal it's, shit it's, at. It's, yeah. it's a cutthroat game now it yeah it used to be but it is dude no. yesterday i saw this dodger fan and he was smoking a blunt outside the restaurant we were at the loudwire awards yesterday and all that in downtown la and he went to, he went to the world series yesterday. yeah oh yeah i nice. went to the world series last oh, night oh yeah, yeah we got one yeah we got oh, one we got baby one. I, I rolled up because i was with the with him doing the red carpet and i got there right before justin turner's home run and that was just like the most unbelievable shit ever but back to what I was saying is that this dude, I was just trying to talk to him and he just got the vibe that maybe he thought I was trying to like get in on his joint. But I was just like, yo, you I were had, trying to, you're trying to give him some I'm joints. trying to give him some joints. <laughs> I had the California's finest and I was just trying to talk to him. I was like, yo, I was like, all right, cool, cool in there. You know, never mind then. Hey, enjoy the game, brother. Thanks for coming out to LA. He was from like Stockton, California or some shit. So yeah. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, it's not what but it's all do. good. It's like, whatever. I. Maybe my timing was just all fucked up because I was probably just a little too fake <laughs> trying to talk to this dude myself. Hey, you know, some weed heads are like welcoming when they're fucking stoned out of their mind and yeah. some are very closed off. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they can't hold the conversation because they can't concentrate. Yeah. So maybe, you know, it could have been that style. Just put it, put itself on pause. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know what? Let me not act like it's, you know, like it's not there. And... It's probably smoking some shitty weed. That's or why. smoking <laughs> yeah. some shitty weed. <laughs> Cause you know, usually that'll put you in one of those fucked up moods. Smoking, yeah. smoking some dog weed. When's the last time you smoked some shitty weed? Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I've ever asked that question. Somewhere in Europe. <laughs> like, When's the last time you smoked some shitty? Uh, somewhere it was a pee dog. Europe, you get some fucking shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Damn. But there's some good weed. So we were just in Atlanta. Yeah, I got some, some good OG. Some yeah, this dude gave me an ounce of OG Kush. And there was a uh, in Chicago, but you know what the funny thing is, is I look at it, I'm like, that's from California. Then when I asked, you know, the people like, yeah, it's from California. Yeah. Like California is like, hands down, the best weed still. True that. We were in can't, Amsterdam, and no disrespect to like Colorado or anywhere, they got very very good stuff. Yeah. I'm not a hater. I see, it, I'm like, damn, this guy knows what he's doing. California's got the best weed, like hands down. True yeah. that. A lot of people say, I had some dude in like Rotterdam tell me at a sneaker shop. He's like, where are you from? I was like, Cali. He's like, damn, you guys grow the best weed. Hey, and it's I was true. like, oh, damn. I'll, I'll tell you 90%, 90% of the folks that get in this box, you know, if you ask yeah. them, hey, so where, you know, where's, you know, where do you think the best weed is at? Hands down, California, whether it's north or south or the whole of it because it is true north and south we grow the best weed on the planet i, I would say true. you know yeah. from the outdoor to the indoor yeah situation. man outdoor man the, the strength yeah weed. light depth man that shit's blowing my mind now i mean for anyone watching that doesn't know what that is it's when you got a greenhouse you cover it for 12 hours and it gets complete darkness that's what you do indoors 12 hours on 12 hours off yeah light depth is where you cover the whole greenhouse so you're growing outdoors getting these huge yields but the the quality that people are getting now looks better than 90 yeah. percent people's indoors yeah they've yeah. they've they fucking finally dialed it they in. did and it's i mean i'd hate to sound like a dick but <laughs> like fuck the industry yeah. up man <laughs> shitting on the market right now but yeah. 
I can't hate because they're doing such a good job and those those people work like 12 hour days so yeah they're killing it yeah I gotta love them for it salute to all the motherfuckers out there man hell yeah <laughs> BC salute you good bud for a while <laughs> yeah California's the best but Vancouver BC had some good shit for yeah they bit. got some shit over in Vancouver hell yeah is it you know what's crazy so is it legal in Canada now recreational across the country it is right Vanco- uh, across the country I believe it's, yeah, it's so. about to be if not already but what's crazy is if you cross with a joint they're gonna throw your ass in jail yeah. but I'm like I could buy weed in Seattle I could buy weed in Canada but I can't cross the border with it yeah no cause you ain't getting taxed for it yeah like I didn't, I didn't we ain't paying the tax you know what I mean they're not getting their taxation from it whatever yeah. Dude, just for us bring to cross it over the border or, you know what I'm saying it's so expensive it's like 15 grand just for us to go play a show out there yeah cause they, they think you're a felon for everything it's just crazy oh yeah I, I, I you know <laughs> I get the horrible, business every man. time I go down there so I totally can relate and to you that. know what sucks for you is they know who you are so they yeah. really want to fuck with you <sighs> I've had my bags gone through many a time uh, but crazy. oddly enough these days they'll leave the flower in there Really? really? Oh yeah, they're looking for explosives. They're not looking. They're not looking you know, for your. You know, they might damn, so replace tight. your shit with a pee dog. <laughs> 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 we got that asshole. Dude, <laughs> I'm paranoid shit crossing over with any weed. Like, I, it just doesn't. I, cause I always get. I get. I have bad luck with security, and I get just get every time I go up in there, they just like they they pull me aside every time. Yeah. I don't know what it is. You look like Easy E, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta go through in a suit, dog. You'll be straight, dog. Yeah. No, okay, this guy. This guy looks efficient. Yeah. So, yeah. are you guys gonna Official. do? You guys gonna do any tour uh, tours from? Uh, or you guys got any tour plan uh, after the album gets we're, released? We're on tour, on tour right, right now. now. Oh, you're on tour yeah, now. we're actually on so a, like just, a two oh, yeah, day break. Right. Yeah, you just took a couple days to come yeah. back home, yeah. and we happen to get them in the box. You got us in the box. Oh, this I was is what got us home. Like, yes, Do all kinds of shit. I'm never going home. I'm on tour. They're like, you want to do the smoke box? Like, yep. Yes, sir. And when you get when you get on that in that tour phase, is it hard adapting when coming home? Do you feel like fuck? You know, I'd be doing a show, right? You know. Well, like, knowing it's a day off, like I, I'm already in that mindset. Like I got a day off. I'm gonna straight chill. So like being home, it's like now. It's like yeah, I feel like fuck. I'm in tour mode still. Like I gotta get back to the venue, even though I'm in my my domain. You know. How many how many shows you playing on this tour? Um, what do we got? Uh, like Fifty I don't, or something. Yeah, a lot on a tour lot. for nice. like two and a half months. Till December 11th. It's going good, man. The shows have been selling out. It's been yeah. like fantastic. You know, it's, really, it's pretty cool. Congratulations it's on that, guys, man. And yeah, I want to yeah. thank you for taking the time to come and do the box. Word up, man. hell yeah, man. Can this we talk cool. about who tried to jump out of the box before? Because they told me people would get freaked out and jump out. Uh, there's been there's been a couple who uh, there was a uh, okay so we had Cool Keith in here old school hip hop legend yeah, yeah. we know his, cool Keith. I did a song with Cool Keith his yeah. manager uh, he did huh yeah. recently yeah his manager wanted to sit in the back while we were you know chiefing out up front and yeah. you know I told him hey listen um do you smoke and he's like uh, well no but I've been around smoke I can hang <laughs> and Keith and I start chiefing and he's, he's a like, savage too and he's like uh. I gotta get out of the box. Oh man! Like, well, we don't do that, but you know, I don't want you to die in here, so you know. Yeah, it fucks up the flow. Yeah, it fucks up. It kills the high. So. Who else? Uh, who else? Um, did did ran out of the box? I don't know. Shit. Because we don't really have any doors on this bitch. They can't really get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking because I'm trying to get out. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, no, we're about to be done. No, 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 so, so when they left, what way did they go? <laughs> no, yeah. You know, we just, you know, we had to, they had to endure a couple more questions and then we'd wrap it up and then they got to get out but it's tight you know it, it's 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 a pretty fun deal dude it's intense man being in a hot box dude i remember my first like i already told they like, told you my experience my first hot box i couldn't wait to get the fuck out of the car i was like yeah. tripping but i you know you're getting held down to fucking get down with the big dogs oh yeah well, you know it's like all right fuck man word up man again i want to <laughs> thank you for sitting in the box yeah man and, and uh chiefing out Leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, fuck with the Hollywood Undead, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna have many more tours coming up. You can go to their website to find out when's the next, um, you know, two, three month tour <laughs> jumping yeah. off. Yeah, the rest of 2017 going to 18 for sure. Word up, man. Yeah. It's been another smoke box. Peace the fuck out. 
Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. I 